Hi everybody. Uh, today we are going to see about the TCP and UDP uh, layer 4. Okay. Transport. Uh, we are going to see about the transport layer of TCP and UDP ports. Okay. So uh, before explaining the TCP and UDP, I would like to explain what is port, what is ports okay what is port and ephemeral ports and the uh, useful uh, what is the uh, using of ports what is benefits okay and rather than benefits what are the you uh, so how the ports are useful in networking we are going to see in this episode okay so here here we have PC1, the third one is PC, okay. So we have, we, here we have the PC1 and it will access the resource from uh, two servers over the internet, okay, server 1 and server 2, okay. So let's see how these ports are used to identify the service PC1, okay. PC1, it will to uh, access that access and track the sessions between pc1 and the servers okay so first of all i would like to okay um so in uh, in your minds there will be a question there will be question raised okay so first of all what is a session okay so session means it is a simply an exchange of data between the two or more communication okay communication devices okay so and in your daily and in your daily use so the pc needs to be able to handle the multiple communication okay so perhaps you have multiple internet tab opens and accessing the different ser services over the internet okay so you probably have the multiple uh, multiple services running over the computer so that need the internet access so in pc ones the case let's say that it is communicating with uh, server one at layer four it is using the tcp uh, and it uses the source port as 5000 and the destination port is 80 okay okay you see i will explain you okay for example this is a pc one it is communicating to web server okay uh, so it will use the source port source port as 5000 and destination port as 80 okay so uh, what are the what are these ports used for okay so the destination port is very important okay it identifies the application layer of protocol okay this port 80 if if you use port 80 means it it will identify it application for so it is used for web server okay for example tcp port is 80 is used for protocol http and which, which is used to access the website okay so perhaps server 1 is hosting a web page so it is hosting a web page anything okay that pc1 wants to access now how about the source port okay it will randomly selected by pc1 okay so it is the uh, the this pc1 a source port is this port is randomly selected okay so the combination with a destination port it helps to identify okay uh, for example after service one receives the pc one's message okay so this server so the server will receive the pc one's message it will probably send a reply okay in server one reply notice that source port and destination port numbers will be reversed okay so now 
source port will be what um, so the source port will be 80 and the destination port will be 5000 okay so when pc1 receives this message the source and destination port will port numbers tell it is that port of the same communication session as the message sent earlier okay so it will identify it will identify uh, pc1 will identify so this ports have been sent by me only a uh, little earlier okay because of 5080 okay it, pc1 will be easily identified okay so what if the pc1 what if the pc1 opens up a separate connection for srv1 it might be using a http at the destination port again but it, but it is using a different different source port okay so uh, again it is using for ftp for example it will use the another source port it will it will randomly select the another source port okay okay so it might be using http at destination port again but it is using a different source port the source server one response will use the source port as a destination port for its response okay uh, so the pc1 knows the port of this uh, session but pc1 uh, the pc1 wants to access a server 2 for example which i said before ftp it uses a tcp destination port number 29 okay so file transfer protocol will use the 29 sorry 21 okay so it will use again this will it will use the source and destination source port will be 6000 and the destination port will be 21 okay the tcp port is used for ftp server 2 will reply uh, server 2 will reply the port numbers will be reversed as i said before okay so the source will be 21 and the destination will be 6000 okay so So as I said before, according to the port numbers, server 1 and server 2 will be intelligently, they will change the port. Okay, so the port number, okay, so, so far I have explained how the communications, intelligently communications will happen. Okay, so I would like to say now where we are getting the port numbers, okay, from where we are getting, okay, so the port numbers. So the port numbers that application layer protocol is used to register with the IANA. Okay. So it has to be the port numbers. The port numbers has to be registered with the IANA. IANA means Internet Assigned Numbers Authority. So they, uh, they were designed to well known. So they were designed to well known port numbers from port 0 to from the we are getting from we are registering okay so we have to register from the iana okay so the port numbers are from port 0 to port 1 port 1023 okay so these are used for major protocols like http ftp etc are using are very strictly regulated registered port numbers are in the range of 1024249151 okay i will let, let, let me explain okay so the registered port numbers range of 1024 and 49151 okay finally the range of 449152 through 65,535 are used for as a as used for epimeral ports okay so 
from from port 0 to 1023 okay these are used for major protocols like http ftp are very strictly regulated from these okay so these types of ports is used for http ftp like that connections from 1024 from 419 49151 are the, are the registered ports are the registered registered ports okay excuse me let me scroll the page okay from 49151 to uh, 65 65535 okay so these are epimeral ports epimeral okay so the epimeral ports are also known as private and dynamic ports okay the host use this range when selecting the random source port which i said which i explained for the this 5000 and 6000 okay so please note so that in the previous example all, all of the randomly selected source port come from the epimeral port range so these are the epimeral ports range okay so these the okay so that ports numbers are function of the both main layer for the for layer 4 protocols like tcp and udp so it is mainly used for tcp and udp okay so uh, before why i was explaining why i was explaining these kind of communication process with the help of ports so you people you people need to know what is port with the help of port what is happening where, where it is registered so we have you have to know the types of ports like this epimeral ports and registered ports okay so uh, this scenario this scenario will help you to I didn't understand the what is TCP and UDP you before you before learning the TCP and UDP your uh, master should explain this okay if, if with the with the help of scenario you you could understand why we are using the TCP and UDP please please don't read blindly what is TCP and UDP okay so uh, we you have to read the why before going to one topic please understand why we are reading this for what purpose we are reading this so uh, how why that this tcp and udp uh, is useful for you in useful in so for what purpose it is useful okay so thanks for uh, for patiently thanks for watching my video okay so with, with patience if any doubts please leave a uh, comments in the in the comment section okay uh, thank you for watching my video